Have you ever think to yourself, how much of a fucking idiotic immature dickhead you can be on the internet? Well, my name is Ryu and I just found the most saddest and creepiest YouTuber on the gaming scene, especially Minecraft and Fortnite. Yes, two games where you expect little kids crap their pants when they get anything shiny. Sedical is a douchebag name and he's done some horrible stuff. He was exposed by his old editor that he was asking and receiving nude photos from his fans who are most likely underage and admitted to even taking advantage to his girlfriend when she was under the influence. I mean, what really happened, like, like I said before, like, you know, it was about underage girls and, you know, like I said that, you know, underage girls got involved and I was being reckless and, you know, you know, like I told you I had like pictures on my phone and um, I think I told you I got a fan involved at one point and um, I'm trying to think, you know, when, she, when Sarah was under the influence of, you know, when she was drinking, sometimes I'd force her to have sex with me. And after all of this exposition, he decided to move out of YouTube to fix his mental state. This is what Nikocado should do. I mean, like, this guy is literally Nikocado Avocado if he gave up on eating food and started downloading Hack Client in a LEGO game. But speaking about Hack Clients, Sakan Rage is a very popular YouTuber that practically made Sadical famous. What happened is that Sakan Rage has a server and Sadical was hacking in it live in his Twitch, by the way. So, Sakan Rage just trolled him and banned him afterwards. And he just started sitting his pants, like that's like com like filming yourself doing a crime, and then complaining about it afterwards. This kid's probably like 15, and all he does is literally like, he probably like prides himself like, oh, I'm an admin on on this stupid server. Whatever. So the main reason why I'm making this video, views, but not for real, is playing out talk on rage and satirical are working together. I mean, all of his videos nowadays are just the same concept. And it's obvious that he just pays random streamers to hack in his server or create servers just for him to troll on. Like, even if it's possible, it's ridiculous how well executed all of these videos are. It's most likely all fake. And top it all with Sadical's allegations and the same timing at both ends breaks, it's clear that Shotgun Raids does not care whether Sadical does those horrible stuff. As long as he get those big view numbers, it's apparent that he's just this pathetic to support this garbage to get some money. And Shotgun Raid saying that he is never gonna do any another video of, of this guy ever again. Like, sir, but you're collaborating with the same people every fucking year. That's so much of a coincidence to not have any backdoor negotiation in your two's end. Like, after exposition, another YouTuber, Mr. The Tough Rider, was working with Sadical, drops him out. But not this guy, I guess. If you want some bit of hopeful optimism from me, fine. I hope that Sadgun Race just coincidentally finds this hacker's new Twitch streams after they get banned every time and does the exact same thing that makes them popular so they keep doing this because they know this makes them appear in a popular youtuber's video and be famous out of this and have zero planning out of this with creating servers and shit now going back to being sent nudes by underage fans well he was already exposed at the time for being sent feet pics by, un by his underage fans like you just can't make this shit up like you, you just can't <laughs>